We have with us Sanjeev Bajaj of Bajaj Finance. Sanjeev, thank you for joining us on Bloomberg Quaint. Last few years, you know, NBFCs like you have uh, moved to market borrowing a lot because market is so much cheaper than the bank rate. Do you expect that shift coming back to the public sector banks or banks where NBFC we have been originally, you know, borrowers from them? That differs uh, by NBFC. In our case, uh, what we're trying to do uh, is to follow a very clear strategy to create multiple sources of borrowing, hmm. so that we are not limited to any one particular um, set of entities like in this case banks that uh, helps us also then expand uh, the total pool of uh, available funds that we can borrow from so banks are about a third of where we are i think 25 to 30% is where i see bank borrowing in bajaj finance to be your company also straddles the entire bfsi space insurance in particular we saw one of the insurance companies listing do you have plans for listing your insurance company bajaj alliance life insurance see so you list either because uh, you need additional capital or you list if promoters want those funds in our case neither is true our companies are profitable they've not needed capital for the last 5 6 years and uh, we are willing to keep our money in the company and see it grow with the company so there is no immediate plan what about your partner does he want to increase his stake because now you have in a stringent basel 3 norms which uh, requires alliance to keep capital in home country uh, will he increase the capital or will he exit uh, the entire joint venture i don't know the answer to that yet we are still in discussions with them but maybe they can give you a better answer but uh, if if the exit happens it will be at fair market value exit has to happen if it happens it has to happen as per the laws of the country yeah and how is the insurance business growing what kind of growth plan you have for them well you see our general insurance business has always grown very steadily at where the market is a few percentage points higher but very importantly also grown with very strong profitability this is very important otherwise you can keep selling insurance and keep losing money which is what most companies have been doing as far as the life business is concerned this was slow the last few years but this year we are starting to see reasonable growth and uh, i would hope to continue to see such secular growth in uh, over the next couple of years have you changed the mix of the business from you lip to term uh, or I mean, because some of the companies are changing the terms because they are trying to get more stable and more stable growth coming in you see the product mix really depends as to what customer segment you are going for your typical term is a protection product um the ulip is a product that gives you some amount of protection but also savings and if you see outside the top 20 30 cities mutual funds don't exist hence it's important to take ulips to smaller uh, places as well but on the other hand a term product is very simple to understand you know what you're going to get at the end yeah. so when you go to the smaller cities you have to be very clear what your customer segmentation is because lower income segments may not understand it as well and i think that's where the balance is required as to a product mix i would think a 50 50 product mix is the right mix sanjeev thank you for joining us on bloomberg in today thank you